Okay, we are going to solve two equations, and of course, whenever you're solving equations, we want to make sure that we check our answers. These equations are specifically dealing with negative rational exponents, and in these two examples, both of the powers are odd. So here we have power over root, so we have a fifth power cube root. The negative exponent, if you'll remember, if we have something like a to the negative two, that means we are reciprocating a squared. In other words, the negative exponent um, as being a negative two means that base and that exponent or that power is in the wrong place so it got reciprocated and now it's in the denominator. So I look at this as x to the negative five-thirds. We do have x to an odd power so it's just like us solving something like x to the first equals seven. There's only one answer there. I don't have to worry about the plus or minus. Same kind of thing with x cubed equals 27. We know that x equals three. I don't have to worry about the plus and minus because of that cube. So what I will do is I'm going to rewrite the left-hand side of this equation and I will rewrite the right-hand side of this equation. And then what I do to the left-hand side, I'm also going to do to the right-hand side so I can raise both sides to the negative three-fifths because negative five-thirds times the negative three-fifths will just give me x to the first or just x. And so if I raise this side to the negative three-fifths, that is going to be the same as the negative exponent is going to reciprocate what is in my parentheses. So instead of being one over 32, it's now just 32, and now my exponent is positive three-fifths. We can certainly do this on our calculator. You have a caret button that looks something like this. Just make sure you put three-fifths in parentheses. It will give you the answer. Or you can say the fifth root of 32 is two, and we do know then what two to the third is, so eight. So whether you put it in your calculator or evaluate it by hand, you should be getting eight. And then our check, we'll do down here, looks something like if x was eight, eight to the negative five-thirds would be my very original statement, and I'm saying that that should be one over 32. Certainly, again, this is something that we could put in our calculators. If we wanted to verify this by hand, however, I would just look at it and say the negative exponent is gonna reciprocate my base. So now it's to the positive five-thirds. And then again, I'm gonna take the cube root. Cube root of one is one cube root of eight is two, and then raise that all to the fifth, and the fifth power of one half is one over 32, because one to the fifth is one, two to the fifth is 32, so eight does work, and we only got one solution. So now my second equation that I'm going to solve is x to the negative one half equals zero. And this is really important because this comes up often and we think that zero to any exponent is zero. And that is not necessarily the case, especially when that exponent is zero or negative. So what I'd like to look at is I'm going to rewrite this as one over x to the half. So maybe we can see this. And two things here. In order for a fraction to be zero, my numerator is going to have to be zero because zero divided by these finite values will be zero. Well, my numerator is not zero, my numerator is one, so that's not going to work. I can also see that because I can sort of cross multiply here or multiply both sides by x to the half, however you learn that process. So I get one equals zero and that is not true. And like I said, if we just think about this algebraically from the beginning and we just say, okay, I'm going to raise both sides to the negative two power because that will solve for x. So what is she saying? She's saying I can't solve for x. Well, I just did. x is zero to the negative two. 
Sure, but let's look at what 0 to the negative 2 really is and see why it doesn't work. 0 to the negative 2 is the, again, reciprocate, right, this base, so it would be 1 over 0 squared. And we should know that that is undefined. 1 divided by 0 is not defined, so this x to the negative 1 half equals 0 has no real solution. And that would be my answer for that, no real solution. Uh, I hope you found this video on solving equations with negative rational exponents helpful.